Hey everyone, so this is going to be a quick one as a result of me losing all the video footage of me painting the ceiling, which sucks. Um, so I'm going to combine that together with sealing the concrete and we'll just quickly talk about that. So first off, I went to Home Depot, bought a Magnum X7 airless sprayer, which worked great. I'll do a review on that later, but I was pretty happy with it. Um, I went that route versus renting because renting from Home Depot was like 150 bucks for one day. And... You know, this sprayer, I think it was out the door, it was like around 400 bucks. And I will justify using it again later on. Um, the paint I use, Fence Pro, it's a flat, flat black paint that they design for like horse fences, ranch fences. Um, it's water-based water latex, which you don't, you want to use a water-based paint for the, when you're spraying over the foam, because if you use solvent base, it's going to eat it up. And this doesn't eat the foam, so it worked out okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this paint for anything other than the ceiling though. And the reason being is that this particular paint still had like, kind of, still even today has a bit of a, like a tacky feel to it when you touch it. So, um, it's not designed for this. I just used it for it cause it was the cheapest stuff I could find and, and it worked. It looks good. Um, it's a lot less of a flat, more of a, more of a satin once it fully dries. When you first put it on, it's kind of shiny, but it will dull out. Um, and yeah, pretty happy with it overall. This is what it looked like, final product. Make sure you get some plastic. This stuff gets everywhere. Make sure you get proper PPE so you don't end up looking like this. <laughs> um, I've got three 10 by 10 doors plus a man door I had wide open while I was doing this. And, you know, in the end, it, it wasn't like ventilation didn't seem like it was a concern for me with it. But the paint got everywhere. Um, I laid down plastic all over the floor, thank God, because it got so bad that the ladders were sliding around on the plastic. You got to remember you're spraying overhead, so it's raining down all this overspray, which is not good, but it is what it is. It's done. Could I have done it differently? Yep, but I didn't. So <laughs> as far as sealing the concrete goes, I used a product that is by Stamp Crete International. They're actually local to me. Um, they're out of Liverpool, New York. The product I used was their Ultra Sheen, Ultra Sheen 7000 High Gloss. Um, I bought two five gallon buckets of it. I did two coats. And so it ended up being 400 bucks. Um, yeah, it ended up being $400 for the, the two five gallon buckets. Um, plus you got to get your rollers. I went with a wide roller. You'll want to do that. Um, you're going to need a brush if you want to you know, brush around the perimeter. I highly recommend doing that. I only did one coat of, as far as brushing around the perimeter because it's the perimeter and it doesn't seem like it's that big of an issue to me. Um, I went two coats over the, the rest of it as recommended. Um, tips I could give you. Make sure you get plenty of rollers. The stuff as you start to work with it really starts tacking up. Um, when you you know put fresh product on the roller, you don't want to try to push it too far. It's going to start like cobwebbing and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about as you're applying it. You'll, it looks like cobwebs are coming off of it. As soon as it starts doing that, dip it back into the, the, the paint pan Get a new batch on there and just keep going. Um, if it starts cobwebbing like that, what what's it's going to make a lot of patterns like ro brush yeah roller patterns in the floor. And I have some of that going on, but this was the first time I ever applied this stuff, and you know it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with the final product. Um, if I had to do it again, would I spray it? Probably not. They, you know, because they've got, you can use their solvent-based bug-type sprayers. Um, you can't just use any sprayer, though. It's got to be able to, it's got to be ba be able to be used for solvents. Um, the problem is, is it'll mess up the seals and things in the sprayer. But the other issue I had why I didn't really want to use a sprayer is that they don't spray like a, a paint sprayer does. Um, the pattern is really uneven, and I just... I didn't want to have to struggle with that, and I felt like if I sprayed it, I was going to have to go back over it with the roller anyways to try to even it out. So I just chose to just go with the roller. It's faster. It's fine. 
Um, this is a shop floor. This isn't like my dining room or something like that. So that's the route I went with. And here, here's the final product. I'm really happy with it. It's durable. Um, I can tell right now it makes it super easy to clean up too. I, I have one of those dust mops that you like commercial dust mops and it, it you know it makes it real easy to clean the floor versus just trying to go over concrete and my concrete slab was was polished out pretty good and it's a night and day difference with the sealer as far as sweeping the floor still even with a smooth finish on the concrete so i do highly recommend it one thing that you need to consider is that when it gets wet it gets slippery so if that's an issue for you you may want to put some non-skid product that they sell for it um, but then that makes it harder to sweep and clean up so I you know it is what it is we use a the concrete floors at work at, at the marina where I work at are all sealed and smooth like this it's not an issue if you see water just be careful but you know it's lasted for years and years and years and you know hopefully this will too so I will do a follow-up on this down the road if this video seems to do well and let you guys know what I think of it you know in the next six months or next year or whatever like that so be sure to subscribe comment and like and yeah that's it talk to you guys later thanks for the support